how did the solar system form? Our solar system began life as a huge cloud of gas and dust called the Solar Nebula. About 4.6 billion years ago, this giant cloud started to coalesce under the force of gravity. It also began to spin itself into a flattened disk shape. Mamma mia! At the centre of this spinning nebula, 99% of all its mass compressed into a proto-sun. This was a baby star, not yet ready to ignite. All the remaining matter in the huge cloud around the new proto-sun slowly formed itself into rings. These rings would eventually become the planets we know today. Close to the proto-sun, the higher temperatures meant only rocky materials and metals could survive the heat. Therefore, the closest planets to the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, are mostly composed of heavier elements like iron. But in the distant, colder regions, big lumps of rock and ice managed to capture vast clouds of gas around them. These would become the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Eventually, the protosun became dense enough to begin fusion in its core and, drumroll please, our sun finally became a fully-fledged star. But for Earth, the story was really just beginning. When our planet was just 100 million years old, a huge object the size of Mars collided with us, throwing vast amount of rock into space. This stray rock eventually reassembled itself into the Moon. That huge collision that formed the Moon also knocked the Earth off its axis by 23.5 degrees. And that was very handy for us because that created the seasons. In its youth, Earth is thought to have been volcanic and inhospitable. But over time, it came to be covered in a vast ocean of water, perhaps carried here by icy comets and asteroids. However it got here, it was this water that allowed life to thrive. 